here we are at the Leonard Murphy mine where we were yesterday and I couldn't stand this place. There were three dead, well, two dead chipmunks and a dead rat of some sort. Um, you can see they're clearly gone. There's the remnants of one over there. And here we have this poor little chipmunk dying in the tar sands. Now I'm gonna see if I can help him out and get him out of there. I don't know if that'll be good or bad for him, but um, I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't wanna sit in this toxic sludge. So let's see if we can help him out. See, it's just all gooey and tarry. I don't, I don't even think I can get him out of here. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Hold on. closer to the rocks. I mean, this is terrible. There you go. He's still coated in tar. I mean, oh, buddy, come on. I mean, he's even just sticking to the grass pieces now. He's getting off now. So I don't know if that's helpful. I mean, he's still got tar all over his mouth and his face and his body. But I, I mean, I just couldn't leave him in there. I wish I had brought some solvent or something. Um, let's see if we can get the, that part off. So, I mean, that's a big rocky part that was attached to his mouth. And it looks like his leg is broken here. So I, I mean, unfortunately, I think that that's probably the end. But this place, I mean, I can't stay here very long. My eyes are already starting to water. They're burning. Um, my nose is starting to get stuffy, which happened yesterday. I couldn't spend more than 15 minutes. And there are some bigger tar pits down in the valley here. And if you watch, I mean, this tar flows all the way down through there and gets down into the valley and I'm pretty sure it's making its way down to the Green River or, you know, other water sources that people drink from and water their plants. And so, I mean, what happens when you have contaminated water? The world only has 1% water that's usable for humans. And we're doing this kind of thing to, to good drinkable water when we don't have the resource, especially not in a high desert ecology like this. Um, you know, it, behind the cameraman there's a bunch of equipment that was just left out here to rot it still has the sludge on it 